Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coaster Child Donkster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news and update. Now, we've got two massive, massive updates today. One from Live Water Valley and one from the London Resort. Two needed theme park news updates. I have also pre recorded a news update looking at more details of Etrenaline, the brand new eating experience this year at Europa Park. So stay tuned uh, tomorrow afternoon for that video. But today is all about London Resort and first, Light Water Valley. Now, Lightwater Valley is a mix of positive and negative news because on the negative side, we're losing a good few thrill rides. On the plus side, to go in the new direction, they're bringing in six new family attractions for the 2021 season. So we'll talk about all the closures and then we're going to talk about the 2021 attractions. So before we get started with all of that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Also, guys, uh, check the description down below where you can find uh, links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat where you can stay in touch with Coaster Chow, and also the Discord server where you, yes, you, the Coaster Chow fan base, can be a part of the Chow Nation by interacting with other Coaster Chow fans. Also, guys, you can submit your video ideas. So if you've got a next five year video idea, a review, a fact file, or a reaction video, both theme park and non theme park, and we're going to we'll, we'll probably pre record more of those reaction videos in the summer. Then please get your video ideas in. We save them all every day. Let's get them in. Let's get these ideas out there. And uh, stay tuned for more live streams as well, because in live streams, people can come up with video ideas in there as well, and we'll, we'll save them in. So stay tuned for more live streams in the future, because we may record your ideas that you put in the comment section during the live streams. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the news around Lightwater Valley. So let's start off with the closed attractions. These are the attractions that are going to be leaving the theme park. So according to the source Ride Rater, uh, Lightwater Valley are scheduled to remove Raptor Attack and other attractions. Now, of course, specifically, uh, Apollo uh, will be leaving, Raptor Attack will be leaving, Eagle's Claw Black Pearl and also the Rapids ride will be leaving. Now, obviously, you guys are going to need some more details for those of you who need some information about these classic attractions. So, first of all, the Raptor Attack. It's a Schwarzkopf Wildcat 45 meter model that first opened as the Rat Ride in 1987. It was refurbished and reopened on the 4th of April 2010 as Raptor Attack after being closed at the end of 2009. Uh, so it went through that whole refurbishment from a, a sewer rat theme up until an abandoned mine with raptors inside kind of theme. Uh, so very different themes but the same ride system and some little changes here and there. Uh, now of course this is an underground technical technically an underground ride uh, so it's in so it's in a building that's hid behind the trees to make it look like it's underground. Now obviously this is a classic light water valley attraction and one that's going to be missed by every single person at the park. And I'm sure all the guests that loved Rapture Attack are going to be yeah, very very sad. Now of course it didn't operate uh, during the 2020 season, as did Apollo. Now, Apollo is a swing ride, a swing chair tower on lease, but its departure represents the loss of another thrill ride from the park, and it didn't operate during 2020 also. Now, Apollo first opened back in 2016. It replaced the Whirlwind. Of course, that opened on a one-year lease from 2010 to 2011, and then from 2011 to 2015, and then in 2015, the Whirlwind was removed ready for Apollo to come to the park in 2016. So Apollo came in on the whirlwind site. Um, it was a swing chair ride on lease. That's probably going to go back on the train uh, traveling circuit anyway. It was a good thrill ride. and I think It was a popular ride as well. So uh, one ride that I definitely think we'll miss as well. Then we brought in Eagle's Claw. Now this is a KMG afterburner. So think of Vortex at Thorpe Park. And um, there's one, I think there's one at, at uh, Pleasurewood Hills as well. Um, so yeah, Fireball, I believe that is. So, you know, there's loads of these KMG Afterburners, both permanent and temporary, out there in the theme parks and fun fairs. I did the Devil's Rocks. I did the permanent KMG Afterburners, like Eagle's Claw. That was a ride that I loved. So, you know, Eagle's Claw's going, which is a shame. It was a popular ride last year when it opened during the COVID-19 pandemic. And, you know, Eagle's Claw is definitely a ride that's going to be missed, especially because of its popularity still ongoing over the last couple of years. So it's quite an unusual removal. But I think with Raptor Attack and Apollo going due to uh, maintenance and budgetary reasons, 
I reckon Eagle's Claw is going because of this new family market. Now, another ride that's going that I believe is for the family market, or because of the direction of the new family market, is Black Pearl. Now, this came to the park... Um, sort of brought in from the closed Loudon Castle as part of the new Skeleton Cove area for the 2011 season. And of course, its last season of operation was 2020 now. And Black Pearl, again, is it going to go anywhere? We'll have to see. Uh, but Black Pearl is going as well. And then finally, the Wild River Rapids, a Revachon River Rapids ride um, that opened back in 2009, I believe. So, you know, the Wild River Rapids definitely is uh, a one-of-a-kind family ride and one that's going to be missed by the, the fans of the park. Uh, now, of course, I did mention they're going to be adding six brand new rides to the park. Um, now, whether it's replacing these rides, so maybe a couple on Rapture Attack site, one on Apollo site, one on Eagle's Claw, one on the Rapids, or two on the Rapids, or maybe one on Black Pearl. I don't know. But there is six new rides coming to the park next year, uh, this year, sorry, in 2021. So we've got the Safari Train, which in my opinion is one of those little mini footprint circuits, tiny, tiny tracked uh, train rides that you could see at little parks here and there. A good kids ride, something good for the kids. Uh, then you got the Flying Elephants, which again is like, I think that's like your Dumbo Flying Elephants at Disneyland Paris, or Go Jetters maybe at CBB's Land at Alton Towers. Something like you're sitting in something, you pull a lever or push a button to go up or down. So it's one of those control your movement or control your ride style attractions, but it's a roundabout ride, slow ride, good for the families, good for the kids, and uh, overall a wonderful family attraction. And also it kind of pays homage to another one of these roundabout style rides, the Flying Camels they used to have a few years ago, because uh, they had a ride called the flying camels so um you know kind of pays homage to that in a way so uh good choice of ride there by that what about for this one then you got the jumping kangaroos which i believe will be the zamperla kanga bounce type attraction uh i think there's a version of this at Petit's adventure park in norfolk so norfolk so um you know overall i think that's a good attraction it's a good nice little attraction bouncy 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 and um you know overall great kids attraction uh then you got the convoy trucks uh, which, again, I think that's just your yeah, Eddie Stobart at Blackpool Pleasure Beach type attraction. Small attraction, good for the kids, nothing too thrilling. And then we've got two more attractions. You've got the Balloon Tower, which, in my opinion, will be the Zamperla Samba Tower attraction. And then the Monkey Tower. Now, don't be fooled by the name. It doesn't really mean Drop Tower exactly. You know, it, it doesn't always mean Drop Tower. It could be uh, a monkey on, like, a tower structure. Uh, as part of a, a as a part of a spinning ride, so maybe like a Zampella lolly swing, or maybe they get in a permanent uh, family Starflyer attraction. So maybe something a bit more family than Apollo, um, but more permanent. Maybe a Zampella vertical swing, but like the smallest vertical swing they can get. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But the Monkey Tower is definitely an interesting one. We don't exactly know for sure what this attraction will be. Apart from, to be honest with you, apart from Monkey Tower. You know, the other five attractions are very easy to predict what they're going to be. The Monkey Tower is still going to be a guessing game to sort of see what kind of ride they're going to go for. They could go for one of these Zamperla Kids Drop Towers. Look at, you know, Frog Hopper that's now Roger's Bouncy Bottom Burp at Alton Towers. Or Peter Rabbit's Hibbity Hop in CBeebies Land at Alton Towers. You know, one of these star rides, maybe the Treetop Hoppers at Chessington. Um... You know, or, or Lumber Jump at Thought Park Resort. One of these small frog hopper style drop towers, maybe. So I think that's what we're probably expecting here with the Monkey Tower. Not really a, another Star Flyer or uh, a Lolly Swing. Maybe just one of those uh, kids drop towers, like uh, another Lumber Jump kind of thing. So, uh, you know, six new kids rides, loads of thrilling closures. And uh, yeah, it's very sad times for the thrill seekers for Light Water Valley, but for the families, it's all systems go so there we go ladies and gentlemen thrill seekers of all ages that is looking at what is going down at lightwater valley in terms of closed attractions and new attractions for the 2021 season of course rapture attack black pearl wild river rapids apollo and eagle's claw off uh, and these six new children's rides the convoy trucks the balloon tower the monkey tower um the safari train um, the jumping kangaroos and the flying elephants all coming into the park. So, you know, obviously the six new rides for 2021, great family attractions. If that's the direction they have to go in to survive, so be it. It's, it's like a slightly more thrilling Sundown Adventureland or like a more thrilling Gulliver's or something. So, you know, you see what Gulliver's have done with their park. You see what Sundown Adventureland does with their park. You know, you see other parks with that, that caters towards a kids' family audience, like Diggerland uh, and things like that. 
you know, Diggerland, Gulliver's, uh, Sundown Adventureland, all great kid family parks. So, if Light Water Valley is going down this direction, so be it. And uh, now, what about the closed attractions? Where are they going to go? Raptor Attack, Eagle's Claw, Black Pearl, Wild River Rapids, and Apollo. Now, in my opinion, Apollo, and maybe even the Rapids, will go back to the traveling circuit. I think Apollo will go back to the UK Showman, and we're going to be seeing the River Rapids going on traveling as well. Uh, whether that does happen or not, we don't know. But maybe the River Rapids, if it could go somewhere permanent, we'll maybe go to, like, Flambards or Breen Leisure Park or something like that. Um, now, what about the other three? Raptor Attack, Black Pearl, and Eagle's Claw. Black Pearl. Now, I think I could see that at Flambards. Uh, or, maybe, what they could do is take Black Pearl and put it um, somewhere possibly even bigger in the UK. Maybe not Flambards. Maybe something bigger. Maybe they go with, uh, well, just thinking off the top of my head, maybe Camel Creek Adventure Park could do with Black Pearl. That'd be a nice thrill ride for them. Uh, same with Raptor Attack. I think Camel Creek could really do with Black Pearl. Uh, with Black Pearl and Raptor Attack. So that would be really good. Eagle's Claw. That's the big one for me. Eagle's Claw. And one part that I think would really suit this ride is... Uh, I mean, if they didn't have Maelstrom, it would have been Drayton Manor. But... And, and I mean, you know, Poulton's Park, if they didn't have the Cyclonator opening this year. So two parks already completely off the list. Um... But maybe, again, Camel Creek could benefit from Eagle's Claw. Maybe Breen Leisure Park, again, could benefit from Eagle's Claw. Um, maybe you sell it on and it becomes a, a travelling KMG Afterburner because we've not seen a permanent... I mean, we've, you know, we've had KMG Afterburners permanent and travelling, but I don't think I've really seen a permanent to travelling transition between rides. So maybe Eagle's Claw becomes a travelling KMG Afterburner and travels with the fair circuit or something like that. I mean, we'll have to sort of see with that one. Um, I mean, Flambards could pick up most of these rides, in my opinion. I think Black Pearl... Uh, Eagle's Claw and maybe even Raptor Attack and maybe even the Rapids as well um, you know, and, and maybe Apollo as well you know all five of these rides could go to Flambars because of course they are the the sister park shall we say of the owners of Lightwater Valley so they own Flambars they own Lightwater Valley they own a couple of other attractions so you know Flambars and Lightwater Valley already have that negotiation connection and I think that some of the rides could go to Flambards other rides to the traveling circuit maybe one or two of the rides go to other parks instead of Flambards and it's going to be interesting to see where these start ending up I mean Pleasurewood Hills could they maybe go with Black Pearl? I mean, they had, they did have a looping ship uh, attraction before in their history, uh, Pleasurewood Hills. Maybe they bring Black Pearl in, refurbish it, turning it, turn it back into that classic ride. Uh, maybe no, may, maybe not be the exact same ride, but I reckon that Pleasurewood Hills could bring in the Black Pearl and reinvent it as it was when it was the classic uh, looping ship attraction from before in their history. So. Uh, again, that's something to consider, maybe. Pleasurewood Hills with Black Pearl. Um, I mean, you've got the big go-kart site that they've got fenced up, so maybe take that out, put Raptor Attack in, maybe. Um, or Eagle's Claw on part of that site. Again, that'd be nice, but again, they've got Fireball already, so they don't need, they don't need two KMG Afterburners. Um, but, I mean, it's sort of, it's wild at the minute. It's sort of unpredictable to see where these rides are going to end up. So, Thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update on Lightwater Valley theme park. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, guys, stay tuned for a massive, massive, massive theme park news update from the London Resort. Quite a long one, that one, so sit back, relax, and wait for that video because it's a long one. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Caitlin on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon today. Thank you very much. Have a thrill day.